we're in the parasha of the Shalom. And the Alter Rebbe begins a mimer discussing the phrase, the Yura Ha'am Es Hashem, the Yaminu Hashem of Moshe Avdu, that the people had awe of God and they also believed in God. And the Alter Rebbe raises the question, surely seeing is believing not the alpha letters words in other words if you see something you don't have to believe it because you've seen it and yet it has both phrases that the people saw and they had awe of Hashem and they believed so he goes on to explain that really the word Havaya Hashem is written twice also unnecessary unnecessarily it says both times by Yeramas Hashem the Amin of Hashem and surely you could have had it said it all with one verse, one statement of Hashem. So he explains that we're talking about two levels of godliness, a higher level of Yudke Vavke and a lower level of Yudke Vavke. Yudke Vavke Ilo'o, Yudke Vavke Tato. But the way that we might understand this, because it's very difficult to speak about God at levels, let's talk about our own condition of where we desire and want something as opposed to doing what we need to make that want fulfilled. So for example, you might want to have uh, um, some sort of uh, fulfillment and joy in life. Everyone's primary motivation is happiness and fulfillment. But that's very, very general. It's very real. It's the primary motivation. But to be able to carry out activities to realize such fulfillment requires us to also want to do something for it. You might have to go to the trouble of building and paying for a house to have the fulfillment of living in the house. You may have to spend uh, 18 years raising your child with great difficulty to having the fulfillment of nachas that one gains from a child. In other words, there's a higher degree of wanting and there's a more specific area of wanting. God wanted a world, a general fulfillment quotient that God wanted to meet. In order to do that, however, God has to construct the world and there has to be seven days of construction. And that may be seemingly uh, inferior to the higher fulfillment, but it's necessary. So it is with us in all our aspirations in life, we have the higher ratzon, the higher desire, fulfillment and happiness, and then we have to do things and want to do those things, even if they are sometimes even painful and undesirable at first instance, but they are the pathway to the higher fulfillment. And that way we can understand Hashem's higher and lower levels. Why don't we spend a few moments meditating on this concept, allowing us to understand both ourselves and Godliness. So gently close your eyes and just become aware of the sounds in your room, sounds that have been there all the time, but you may not have been aware of them because you weren't searching for them. Listen to the sound. Think back to a moment that made you extremely happy, a very fulfilling moment, a moment of giving, sharing, contributing. And in the very process of giving and sharing, underlying it is a flow of ratzon, willpower, that is able to cause you to carry out that act of contribution to somebody. It may be a family member. It may be a friend. You may be giving time. You may be giving knowledge. But it's very, very down to earth. And it's achieving its goal. Think back to such a moment. and feel the happiness coursing through you.
And now think back now at this moment when you aren't giving, you aren't sharing as in that moment, but you feel now the fulfillment of having gone through the process. You are now fulfilling a higher desire, the one of happiness and contentment. There are two levels of Ratsam, two levels of desire and will. The immediate one, the lower one, that is able to carry out the process in the reality of everyday life, and the much higher one, one we all share, happiness and fulfillment. Just sense, both are attributes of God. God created the world, an expression of specific desire, and God feels the contentment and happiness, especially when you and I carry out mitzvot in order to complete the process. Happiness and fulfillment, that is what we desire. And gently open your eyes, coming back and being aware this week of those two levels of your desire.